So, okay, Cooper says hello to Tacola. Okay. So, um, we're talking about the distributive property today, and I would like to reiterate the importance of it, okay? So, the distributive property is sort of the cornerstone for what is going to happen in eighth grade algebra. And so, even though this seems like a very simple and basic exercise, the, the importance of it cannot be understated. Simple things can be important, can't they, Reese? He nodded his head. Okay. So, essentially, the distributive property is saying that when I'm multiplying 5 times this quantity, I'm multiplying 5 times 3, and I'm also multiplying 5 times 2. So, therefore, my equivalent statement is going to be 5 times 3 plus 5 times times 2. Agreed? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, I understand that you're thinking, oh, Mr. Framke, you fool, you fool. I know that 3 plus 2 is 5. So why on earth am I having to do this? And I will give you an answer for that. Very soon, math is going to have more numbers than letters. For example, if this had an x, you cannot add x and 2, but you, can still, you will still have to do that multiplication. And the only way to do that multiplication is through the distributive property. So that is where things are going. And that's why this is so, so important. So I'm going to have Max here show b2 and b3. Is that cool? All right. I know I did b1. So cool. <laughs> so just, you can just hold it and talk. Oh, okay. Okay, so all eyes on the board. Hello. Huh? <laughs> testing, testing. Okay. Um, talk loudly so everyone can hear you, buddy. Okay, so uh, first you need to do the rainbows, I guess. So V from that, that, and that to that, which equals... 5 times 3 plus 5 times negative 2. Okay, so what do we think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up. Okay, after, after looking at everybody else, have the thumbs up, please. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Could you show us, uh, could you go ahead and clear the board and then show us how to do uh, B3? Is it this one? It is that one. Um, okay, so you need to do the same thing for B3. So B 5 times 3 and 5 times the negative 2, which equals. And just let him go. Let him go. Yep. He doesn't have to speak. No, he's not writing. <laughs> Plus five times negative two. Is, does, is anyone, okay. would that get us the right answer? Yes. Yes. Is there anyone who would give us another way of doing this problem? Thank you, Max. Another way of doing this problem. Uh, Max, could you please pick a good this time? Okay, Molly is getting up and coming over to the board. Very exciting. Here you go. So I'm doing number three, right? You're, you're yeah. giving another way of doing this problem. So, um... <coughs> Max's way of doing the problem is really almost there, but if you look here, it's actually just 2, it's not negative 2. So another way to do this would just be to make that positive 2. I think. So, so would that give us the same answer? No. 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 Okay, so we have to find a way of respecting, and thank you for coming up, Molly. We have to find a way of respecting this 
Subtraction sign. Molly, would you pick a relief pitcher? Here you go, Ben. Should I just write a new equation? Uh, just what, what's another way of writing it out so that it would work? All right, so you could do five times three, but then you would do minus five times two. Okay. okay, so if there is a subtraction symbol inside the parentheses, then it's going to have a subtraction in between these two pieces of multiplication. Questions? Okay, great. So here's what I would like you to do. I would, we need to finish this investigation today. You've got plenty of time to do it. And we will stop every so often and go through different parts of it. So would you please get started on part C? If you're almost done with part C, great, go to D.